out please check that then we'll proceed ahead if no doubt then we will go to new chapter sir i have one doubt ah uh, the 37th 37th can you read 37th sir yes sir just read 37th equal current i flows in two segments of a circular loop in the direction as shown in the figure radius of the loop is r uh, the magnitude of magnetic induction at the center of the loop o is okay that is i think we have done this na this we have done earlier magnitude of magnetic induction at the center of the loop will be how much if equal current i is flowing as shown this is r this is ab and here it is the magnetic induction d1 due to ab will be mu not i upon 2r into theta by 2 pi correct yes which, which direction in work and d2 will be mu not i upon 2r into 2 pi minus theta upon 2 pi direction will be outward so net will be d equals to d1 d2 minus d1 which is mu not i upon 2r theta 2 pi minus theta upon 2 pi minus of mu not i upon 2r theta upon 2 pi mu not i upon 2r common upon 2 pi is also common or we can take mu not i upon mu not i upon 2 pi r it is everywhere so we can write 2 pi minus theta plus theta upon 2 pi Minus theta upon two pi minus theta plus theta cancel. So mu not i two pi minus theta theta upon this one mu not i upon two pi are common. So upper edge of two pi pi is taken common upon two cancel. Mu not i upon two r direction is opposite. Therefore, we are getting mu not i upon current same and at the center of loop will be how much? So we get mu not i upon two pi r. I multiplied uh, took the pi common. Inside we are getting. Mu not i two pi mu not i upon two pi magnetic field acting at the center is mu not i upon two r two r two r two pi minus theta upon two pi so we get four pi r two pi r two pi minus theta upon two pi माइनस टू थीटा Yes. Now one, please check past one to one twenty. Any sum if you want. No sir. Okay. And next lecture also I will ask. If anybody is having doubt, I will explain. Till one twenty, you all have done, na? After that, you have not done. No sir. One twenty one. 
150 please complete it by next lecture which is on wednesday aur bhi zyada ho sakta hai 160 tak ho jayega aapka do din mein ha sir so that i can clear that out total how many sums are there i think 200 tak hai na so new chapter total exactly 200 are there so 160 by wednesday and 160 to 200 complete it by thursday now new chapter will start today homework please remember 120 to 160 wednesday will discuss if you have doubt and 160 to 200 on thursday that means we have completed our chapter called magnetic field and magnetism after this completion, I will send few more questions on this. Now, today I'm starting new chapter, electromagnetic induction. Sir, that uh, paramagnetic, paramagnetic and ferromagnetic was left. Paramagnetic and ferromagnetic ka property baki hai thoda? Yes, sir. Paramagnetic substance. Those substances which when placed, those substances which when placed in a non-uniform magnetic field source tendency to move from shows moderate tendency moderate tendency to move from weaker power to the stronger power of field are called as paramagnetic substance right definition what are paramagnetic they will move from strong weaker part to the stronger part but moderately you textbook se kuch se bhi pad sakte ho aap para and hero Then we will see properties. Nanta. Explain para. Magnetic means why this substance behaves like moving from weaker part to the stronger part of the field moderate in paramagnetic substance magnetic moment of different electrons in each atom is not equal to zero so each atom magnetic moment is not equal to zero but net atomic dipole moment of different atoms cancel each other net atomic dipole moment becomes zero hence substance do not possess magnetism so in paramagnetic substance magnetic moment of each atom is not equal to zero but net atomic dipole moment of all the atom is zero therefore they do not possess magnetism when such a substance are placed in external field 
then those atomic dipole which are in the direction of external field will become strong others will try to align themselves in the direction hence the substance gains magnetism but when external field is removed then all the atomic dipole moment comes back to the original position hence they again lose magnetism thus they behave as temporary magnet hello yes yes sir they behave as temporary magnet also it is found that when temperature is increased then opposition to alignment decreases so for maximum magnetism the field must be strong and temperature must be kept low that means net magnetization is directly proportional to field strength and inversely proportional to absolute temperature in case of paramagnetic substance followed yes sir now in paramagnetic substances magnetic moment of different electrons do not cancel each other hence each atom has dipole moment but dipole moment of different atoms cancels each other thus the substance do not possess magnetism when such a substance are placed in external magnetic field then those atomic dipoles which are in the just complete tell me so that i can clear and write for that those atomic dipoles which are in the direction of field becomes stronger and those which are not in the direction tries to align themselves in the 
direction of field hence the substance do not hence the substance possess magnetism then external field is removed all the dipoles comes back in original direction hence they lose magnetism write down also when temperature is increased opposition to alignment in Increases. Thus, for maximum alignment, field must be strong, and temperature must be low. Complete. Now full. then we are writing properties of para magnetic substance first they are weakly attracted in external the dipole moment of each atom is not zero but net dipole moment is the try to align themselves in the direction of the in the direction of the try to align themselves in the direction of done sir fourth point there 
permeability is nearly one. There susceptibility is positive and close to one. Okay. Susceptibility is inversely proportional to absolute. This is important for me now. Done, sir. In the ferromagnetic substance. Those substances which as Strong tendency to move from weaker power to the stronger power of speed are called as arrow. Magnetic <coughs> substance. <coughs> right. Those substance which has strong tendency to move from weaker part to the stronger part of field are called ferromagnetic substance. Mm. नेक्स्ट टाइम से ना खाली आंसर भेजा करो बेटा ओके सर अभी तो थोड़ा मार्क आपको कम है भेजा मैंने अभी आपको इंप्रूव करो थोड़ा और यस सर सर मुझे भी सोल्यूशन भेजा एक्सप्लेनिटेशन 
on the basis of domain theory. Explain ferromagnetism on the basis of domain theory. According to domain theory, according to domain theory, ferromagnetic substances, according to domain theory, ferromagnetic substances are made up of large number of tiny crystals. That means the substance are not single solid, but it is tiny, small, small, small crystals joined together. According to domain theory, ferromagnetic substances are made, number, made up of large number of tiny crystals. In each crystals, in each crystals, there are small regions in which atomic dipole moments are in same direction due to exchange coupling force. Exchange coupling force means if the two molecules are pulling each other, they are equal opposite. So they are called exchange coupling forces. These regions are actually called domains. These regions are called as domains as shown in figure A. I'm drawing figure A after this. So ferromagnetic substance like iron, it was supposed that they are not single piece of solid but made up of large number of tiny crystals. In each crystal there are small region where all atomic dipole moment are same direction due to exchange coupling force. These regions were named as domain. That means smallest part of ferromagnetic substance where all atomic dipole moment are in same direction is called domain indirect. Please copy till this, then I'm clearing this to explain with the diagram. So important is in first one, permeability was negative, susceptibility was small and negative, permeability was sorry, positive and less than one, susceptibility was negative, independent of temperature. In para, permeability is approximately one. Susceptibility is positive and also close to 1. And it is inversely proportional to absolute temperature. This entire week will concentrate on doubts of magnetic field and magnetism and chapter EMI. EMI means not AC, before that EMI part. Faraday's law, Lenz's law, self-induction, mutual induction, transformer, eddy current. Done, sir. Okay. Board exam will be in the month of April. 12th board exam as for circular has come, it will be in the April month. Now, as shown in figure A, I said. This is suppose ferromagnetic substance made up of large number of tiny crystals. In each crystal, atomic dipole moments are in same direction. In each crystal, atomic dipole moments are in same direction. But resultant is zero, therefore they do not behave as matter.
each dipole moment can be represented by resultant vector in the direction of given domain as shown in figure b when external field is applied then those domains which are in the direction they grow in size at the expense of neighboring domain and those which are not in the direction they try to align themselves in the direction of external field as shown in figure b i'll see when strength of external field is increased a stage is reached when all the atomic dipoles align themselves in the direction of field now when external field is removed it is found that domain do not comes back to the original position and the substance becomes permanent matter this is ferromagnetism have you followed now hello you all have followed this much yes sir okay just draw the diagram then i'm uh, explaining the write up part ab iske baad ek chhota sa definition hai theory temperature ka that will complete the डन इन द एबसेंस ऑफ एक्सटर्नल फील इन द एबसेंस ऑफ एक्सटर्नल Field resultant dipole moment of different domain is zero when external field. is applied then those domains which are in the direction of external field grows in size at the expense of neighboring domain and those which are not in the direction tries to align 
themselves in the direction of time. Okay, just write down two more lines, okay? None, sir. Of stage is reached when all the domains align in same direction and substance do not lose magnetism even when external field is removed. Even when external field is removed. Thus, ferromagnetic substance becomes permanent magnet. And I theory temperature when ferromagnetic substance are heated, then at certain temperature exchange coupling forces disappears and ferromagnetic substance becomes paramagnetic this temperature is this temperature is called as theory temperature for iron it is 770 degrees Celsius
Danzo. Questions? Yes. They are strongly attracted. Again, to become permanent in for a near beauty is very large. Their susceptibility is also very large. Susceptibility is one upon P minus PC. PC means Curie temperature. So this completes entire theory. Now, as I said, this week we'll concentrate on E M I right heading electromagnetic induction. So if this is magnet. With North Pole, South Pole, magnetic lines will start from North, will go towards South. Inside the magnet, it is from South to North. So there can be many lines moving like this. Now, if I imagine only part of the lines, and here a coil. This perpendicular line associated with the coil of magnetic field is called flux. So I can say flux is directly proportional to field strength. This is field throughout. Now if I increase this area of the coil, then field associated with the coil will increase. So we can say it is directly proportional to area also. So yeah. flux, that means magnetic flux depends upon A and B, area as well as field. If the field is making angle theta with the normal, then perpendicular field will become AB cos theta. So flux is found to be AB cos theta if n turn of coil, then n a b cos theta. So I can say this is for one turn a bar dot b bar. That means magnetic flux is a scalar quantity. So first we have to understand what is magnetic flux. Then from that 
what is change in magnetic flux and then how we get automatically by changing magnetic field the emf induced so this phenomenon of atom automated without source getting current is called as electromagnetic induction you write heading first magnetic flux magnetic flux the magnetic lines of force which are perpendicular the magnetic lines of force which are perpendicular to the plane of coil to the plane of coil is called as magnetic flux it is given by phi equals to n a b cos theta therefore phi is a bar dot b bar it is a vector quantity scalar quantity it is a scalar quantity its si unit is weber Yes, completed. Fun. Yes, sir. How? What is? How to get dimension of magnetic flux? Dimension of magnetic flux. The flux is. We got a n a b cos theta, correct? Yes. Now area, you know, number of turn and has no dimension. Cos theta has no dimension. So this will be dimension of a into b. B I can write as f upon i l, correct? Yes. I thought of this because force ka dimension I am knowing. So area is l two, 
F is M1 L1 T minus 2. Current I is A1 and length is L1. L1 L1. So we get M1 L2 T minus 2 A minus 1 as dimension of magnetic flux. Done, sir. Okay, everybody is completed. Yes, sir. So today we stop here. Tomorrow we don't have lecture. Wednesday, as usual, please complete till the homework which I have given.